Hello, my name is Thomas Leitmann and I'm working in the Customer Support International at PILS. In this video, I will show you the settings in our Pass Config tool to integrate the PDP67 module into a Profinet environment. Download Pass Config from our website and install it. You need version 5.1 or newer. Use software pass config as a search term. During installation, an additional menu item is added to the context menu of the PDP67 module in the device view in TR, so that you can call up pass config via the menu item start device tool using the tool calling interface. So double click on the module opens the context menu. We start the device tool. With FSIO mapping, you can have a look at the addresses of the failsafe inputs and outputs, but now we are choosing configuration and start it. When pass config is started, it checks whether the current ProfiSafe F address of the PDP67 module matches the configured one and adjusts it as desired. So we have an address in our TR project, the F address is 2, and on the module we have a default address of 1, and now we assign the F address 2 to our module. The system is restarted now. When you have a look at the in and output ports, click on one port. The left ones are input ports, the right ones are input or output ports. Under properties, you can configure your port. Here, for example, you can configure the test pulses. And if you don't want to have the test pulse, you can configure this pin as a standard output. When you choose one of the right ports, X2 or 4 or 6, you can figure, configure them as FS outputs or inputs. When it is an input, the input parameters are activated and the output parameters are inactive. Configuring it as an FS output, you see the input parameters are deactivated and you can set the output parameters. Here the most important ones are the off test and the on test if they make trouble in your application. Looking at the two pole output ports, X7 and 8, you can activate or deactivate them, but what is more important, you can choose if a um, broken wire shall cause an error or a warning or should be ignored. When you have finished, download your configuration onto the module. Now you don't need the configuration here because it's already done. Normally the standard FS password is PSSU. Now we have finished the settings of our project. I would now like to show you some interesting menu items. You can also view the failsafe address assignment directly in PassConfig via the menu system view process image. Here you see your inputs and the address bytes. The error stack can be displayed or saved to a file via the menu system, show error stack or export error stack. Now let's show the error stack and the newest entry is at the bottom. You see an open circuit is detected 
because we have configured switch off and send an error message. Using tools, firmware manager, you can check the firmware of the module and update if desired. More detailed information can be found in our application note. If you have any more questions, please contact our colleagues from the technical support. Now I wish you much success with the parameterization and commissioning of your application.